Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the AO High 240 Watt Starship with battery capacity of 27,600 mAh. First of all, a disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company and in this video I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money. And the price of this power bank is US $139 at the time of review. This is how the packaging looks. And let's unbox this. So that's the power bank. The presentation looks good. And the cable and manual are at the bottom. So let's pull this out. This is a big piece of foam. And that's the box with a one meter long, 140 watt USB-C to USB-C charging cable and a user guide. So this is the 240 watt AOR High Starship. The advertised battery capacity is 27,600 mAh. But if you look at the fine print, the rated capacity is actually 16,560 mAh based on 5 volt 3 amps. And I still have the previous model that they sent to me. This is the 140 watt AOR High Starship with 40,000 mAh battery capacity. So the width or the length is kind of similar, but this bigger power bank is, well, thicker. There are actually some labels beside the ports, but it's gray text against gray background, so it's difficult to read or see the text. Anyway, here it says it's 140 watt total output for these three ports two USB-C and one USB-A, and this is 240 watt total output for these three ports. Again, two USB-C and one USB-A. If you look at the back, there is no charging port on the smaller power bank, but on the bigger one, there is one USB input for charging the power bank. So one key feature of the AOHI power banks or the AOHI Starship is you can charge the power banks while the power bank is charging other devices. On the small power bank, the USB-C ports can be used for input and output and the maximum wattage for the USB-C port is 140 each and for the USB-A port it's 22.5 watt. And shown on the screen right now are the different charging specifications supported. So this is a good looking power bank and I still have the previous model with me because I'm using this as a laptop charger. So the main selling point here is this can be used for charging laptops because the maximum output is up to 140 watt which is quite high and some laptops are quite demanding and require a certain minimum wattage for charging. So these are power banks that can charge laptops. So let's take a look at this size versus a typical phone charger, which is kind of flat. So this is 650 grams, kind of heavy. This is 900 grams. On the side here, there is a button that you can press to show the display that is taking up this small area on this big piece of glossy plastic. And this, as you can see, is quite susceptible to fingerprints. This display is not that bright, so if you are using this outdoors, it can be quite difficult to see what's on the display. So the nice thing about this display is when you connect a charging cable. So here you can see the percentage of battery life that's left, my oily fingerprint, that's the output, and that's USB-C port number one, and that's the charging speed. And now I'm going to connect a power source to the other USB-C port to charge this power bank while the power bank is charging my phone. And now you can see there is power input and this is the input source. So that's a Windows uh, laptop and this is a MacBook Pro. And also to get the fastest charging speed, you should be using a fast charging cable. And the one included with the power bank can support up to 140 watt uh, charging. Okay, and I also want to connect this USB-A to USB-C to my 
phone here to this phone here. USB-C one is charging the Windows laptop at around 50 watt. And USB-C 2 is charging the MacBook Pro at around 70 watt. And the USB-A is charging the phone at around 15 watt. So if you do some math, you can see that the total output is under 140. So I'm not able to show you the maximum potential with these devices that I have here. And of course, while this is charging the devices or the laptops, or if this is being charged, this power bank is going to get warm. Heat dissipation is all right. I did not have any problem with heat dissipation for this smaller unit and also for this bigger one that I have been using for months. So the differences between the smaller power bank versus the bigger one is of course battery capacity and the number of ports. There are only three ports here at the top. There are three ports here, but there is an input port here. So you can charge this while this is charging three other devices. If you want to charge this while charging other devices, you can only charge two other devices. Another difference is this is flight compatible because the watt hour is 99. So you don't have to check this in your baggage if you are taking a flight. But for this big one, you have to check this into your luggage. After a few minutes, the battery capacity dropped from 48% to 25% pretty quickly because this is fast charging those devices. And my MacBook Pro battery life has increased from 70% to 27% pretty quickly. When the power bank gets too hot, it will stop charging. So now you can see I have connected an input cable and it's not charging. The light is blinking here. So there are some safety features to prevent overheating, over voltage and other dangerous things that can happen. And now we are down to 8% battery life and this power bank is still charging the two laptops and phone. The maximum charging speed of 140 watt applies to both input and output with the included cable. So this is a pretty straightforward product to review. In short, it works as advertised and it works quite well. It's a shame that I cannot test the maximum total output because I do not have a gaming laptop to test with this power bank. All right, I hope this review is useful. If you guys want to purchase this, you can check out the links in the video description below. See you guys in the next video. Bye.